friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here my name is shen i'm a 25 year old management consultant living in london and on this channel you can find planning personal finance and lifestyle content so today's video is actually gonna be a plan with me it's gonna be my plans from the week commencing 6th of february through the 12th so if you're interested in seeing what we're getting up to this week just keep on watching okay so the lighting is awful because it's a very sunny day today and if i keep the blinds open I'll blind you so <laughs> I've had to close them but there's like a lot of light there and it's kind of dark here so I'm hoping it's not too bad but Monday the 6th and I'm actually filming this super early it's Friday the third today yeah Friday the third so I'm filming it a couple of days in advance but I've got a busy weekend which I will actually go over with you at the end of the video because this week was one of those weeks where all of my plans changed <laughs> so yeah starting with Monday I honestly do not have much going on this week and as I say in most plan with me's I contemplate making plan with me's when it's boring because I'm like do you guys really want to see it but I feel like consistently my plan with me's tend to have the highest viewer ratings so clearly you guys like even the boring ones so I'm going to keep making them so of course I've got a day working from home as per usual and there's a couple of things that I want to do YouTube wise so I want to finish editing my cash stuffing video which is a very long one and I did have it as a to do to finish editing this week but it's like a 30 minute video uh, and I'm talking loads and there's a quite a few things that I think I can cut out because it's just way too long uh, and it was me explaining why I'm stopping cash stuffing and kind of what I'm going to be doing with my savings and how I'm going to be doing that whole setup so yeah it definitely took a little bit longer to film so it will take a lot longer to edit uh, so I'm going to do like I'm going to split it up in parts so I've done a little bit yesterday I'm going to do a little bit today some on Sunday and then hopefully I won't even need to do this on Monday but I'm guessing I will so yeah pop that there and then I also want to create the thumbnail for that as well as uh, upload and schedule and then we have just got Zumba at 6 p.m you guys I'm really ramping up my fitness for the last couple of days I have been working out twice a day which I'm really proud of myself for doing so I'll work out in the morning like before work and I'll do like a 20 to 30 minute sometimes even more like home workout I can even show you actually get my okay so here for example i did a 27 minute this was yesterday thursday strength training at home for 27 minutes and i actually used some dumbbells burnt 173 calories went for my walk during the day and then did a gym workout in the evening 58 minutes and did 382 calories i also went to get my nails done so like i was out walking to that as well i got the bus and walked so we ended the day with 1278 calories which is very good day before um no this is the day after let me see if i've got day before here uh, i only actually did one workout this day uh but i it was an hour and 10 minutes 453 calories and i burnt 110 calories so yeah i'm doing really really well with that and it, it makes me feel really good to work out like i'm not even just doing it because i've got a holiday coming up i'm doing it because i feel genuinely so much better in myself when i've had an active day like i don't feel tired and sluggish like i feel energetic so yeah, I've been loving that. I've also probably been drinking way too many Red Bulls. Like, I don't know about anyone else, but I am obsessed with Red Bull. <laughs> I've been quite good in the sense that I've only been having one a day and they're like the smaller, like 200 mil cans. But yeah, I've kind of got an obsession to Red Bull. Is anyone else the same? So that's Monday. Again, not much that I've got currently planned, but you guys know what it's like. There's always things that come up. Uh, on to Tuesday, similar setup. I really don't have much going on other than zumba at six honestly also love my zumba classes like i just i leave the classes just feeling so happy and just energetic and after you've been sat at a desk all day working it's so nice to just have that bit of just being active um what else have we got so i do want to edit the plan with me that i'm filming right now i'm just trying to get into a better routine of like editing and uploading all in one day like i've said previously and then like getting it done a week in advance so this is all for stuff the week after so i'm getting into a good habit there and then just the thumbnail and uploading uh, and then we do actually have a video live which is going to be my january back plan i'm going to put it as seven but it will go live Ooh, at six i really need to like have a day where i just print and cut some stickers because all of my youtube ones have run out so i need to yeah i need to get my shit together but i do have uh let me actually add that to my to-do this weekend <laughs> okay so uh live and that is my january 
back plan, which I actually really love filming those videos. It's nice to look back and reflect on what you've done in the month. And guys, that is it. <laughs> That's it for Tuesday. Wednesday isn't going to be much more adventurous. Uh, I do want to oil my hair in the evening and I'm going to give myself a break from editing. I just realised I do kind of want to pop down some face masks. So I probably will actually do a face mask this day and then I'll do a face scrub. So like a more in-depth scrub on Monday. I've got like a, oh, I don't even know what it's called. I don't remember the brand, but it's like a vitamin C scrub and I don't like to use it too often. You're only meant to use it two to three days a week because it's quite abrasive. So I'll do a scrub there and then I'll do a, a face mask on Wednesday. Uh, and then I do actually have therapy. I can't find my little stethoscope sticker, so I'm just gonna use this little house because I do actually do it in um my therapist like does it in her house <laughs> which sounds really weird but no it's she's got like a really nice like calm room set up uh, and it's actually really nice to go to and it's always warm and just cozy <laughs> so i've got that at 8 p.m and i've said before i really enjoy uh like later therapy sessions and this is going to be session four i believe for this iteration of therapy because i had some last year i think the end of the year before going into the to last year stop for a while and then i've started again so i've got that at 8 p.m what else yeah that's it <laughs> i will probably just go to the gym prior to this and then go straight after i've come back uh, to therapy love going in the evenings it's just nice to end my day with that on to thursday it's actually the busiest day of the week <laughs> because i'm going into the office uh, i'm just gonna grab one of my little laptop stickers I'm probably going to go in around like 9.30, 10 ish. I'm just going to put 10 o'clock here. And I will probably stay there until around 3. Oh, I've just written on myself. We do have like a team lunch at what time? It's like a bring your own lunch type moment. So I'm probably just going to just grab something from the canteen. We actually get a lunch allowance at work which is quite nice and it's quite nice to actually go in and see my team i'm actually in my company's office as opposed to the client's office which will be nice so yeah team lunch and then i do have a nail appointment at four o'clock so i am just going to use one of these i know it's not pink but i don't mind doing a bit of mix and matching so yeah, I have got my manicure appointment. I think it is anyway. Yeah, manicure appointment. And my nails definitely don't like, they're not desperately in need of being done, but I wanted, I didn't want it to be too long between me getting my nails done and uh, me needing to get them done for my holiday. So I'm, I've left three weeks between each appointment until I get my nails done for my holiday. So yes, that's that um what else oh i need to wash my hair in the morning so i probably won't do a workout in the morning on this day i'll probably just get up extra early wash my hair dice and air wrap it just for ease and then yeah go into the office i do also want to do a gym class this day which i've never done before it's called body max which i believe is just with like a bunch of weights and that is at 7 p.m so what i will probably do is get my nails done at four that'll probably take about an hour which brings me to five it takes me about 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes to get home i'll pop my bags down and then just go straight to the class which will be good because i was thinking maybe i've got to wear my gym clothes and take my gym clothes with me to uh, work but i won't need to do that i can just come back and get changed which is really helpful instead of me having to lug around like gym clothes all day and having to lug around my work laptop to the gym so that's that have we got anything else that we need to do Oh, my video goes live this day as well. So, of course, I'm not going to be able to fit that where six is. So I'll just put it at nine instead. And that is going to be my cash unstuffing. The one, the long one that I'm edit editing this week and next week. And that will go live at 6 p.m. UK time. Okay, that's Thursday. It's pretty much it for Thursday. On to Friday. I want to set up next week, like my planner pages, and then I also want to plan next week as well. Just so that I'm like kind of ahead. Uh, and I honestly don't really have much else to do on Friday. It's 
gonna kind of just be a heavy admin day i will say that my full-time job is get is ramping up a little bit so there's not actually much that i can pre-plan because i just don't know what each day is going to look like we've got requests coming in left right and center and i kind of need to be fully available during my work hours to get things done so i don't want to promise myself doing too much and then i'm not able to actually do it so yeah for now that's all i'm going to do for friday on to saturday we will have our regular recurring zumba class at 11 30. i'm not like the craziest about this class um the instructor is definitely more low energy which i'm not really here for like if i'm gonna get my ass to the gym at 11 30 on a saturday like i kind of want to burn calories so yeah i don't know i just i really enjoy zumba which is why i still go to this class but i think what i might do is go to the class at 11 30 and then go maybe to the gym for like 20 30 minutes after and that might kind of make it up a little bit i will have my video live at one o'clock this day and that will be my plan with me from the 30th through the 5th and then i do want to actually film the plan with me for next week i have like a million and five <laughs> body con dresses and just cute holiday outfits that i purchased pretty much last year because i went on i think two or three warmer holidays last year so i need to and i'm making it my like task for the weekend to actually go through all of my summer clothes and figure out what have i got and where are the gaps so this is not going to be something that i can do in one day it's going to take the full weekend so it's going to be a reoccurring to do but i'm just going to put go through holiday clothes or vacation clothes whatever's easier to say um but yeah i need to do that because i want to kind of see where the gaps are so that the week after i can kind of plan to either go shopping in person which is not my preferred choice or just have a little look online and see what i can buy because uh, i just don't want to be rushed but from what i know i think i have enough i just might need like one or two more bikinis and maybe like one or two little cute cohort sets but i'm really really trying to not spend a lot of money on holiday clothes because of how much i have and i do I think I was quite generous in giving myself quite a bit of money for clothing. Like I have about £400 in my clothing budget at the minute, which I've obviously been saving for quite a few months. But I don't think I'm going to need that. So we will see. The goal is obviously, I don't really want to spend honestly more than £100 uh, and then just keep the rest for like anything else I need. But yeah, I'm kind of good on clothing at the minute. Other than that, I do want to print and cut some stickers that I said I wanted to do. And what I actually just remembered is on Friday, I can probably also do my face scrub as well because then I can do a mask on Sunday. So that's that for Saturday. And then on Sunday, you guys already know what it is. It's my reset day. So we are going to change pillowcases because I'm changing my sheets this week, weekend. So I change my pillowcases every week and then change my sheets every two weeks. We want to hoover do our bathroom reset, bedroom reset. I want to oil my hair, wash my hair. And then I also want to do the part two of going through my holiday clothes. Uh, and then face mask. And that's pretty much that, to be honest. I, as you noticed, I've got kind of like a more chilled week where I don't have much planned. Uh, my boyfriend has picked up quite a few like additional shifts that will be going on on the weekends. So I'm not probably not going to go up to his this week that I'm filming and the week after. And then the week after that, I'll be going around um, so we can prep, do some last minute prep for our holiday. And then the week after that is my holiday, which I'm so excited about. And of course, I'll be bringing you guys along and doing a little vlog of our trip. I really wanna actually get into like making some fun TikToks, but I'm useless at editing and filming. So uh, yeah, I need to just get better at that because it's really something that I'd like to share because I find, it, I love watching other people's TikToks. So I'd love to jump on that as well. Let me pop this in my planner and we can review what we've done this week. Okay, you guys. So I just wanted to give you a quick flip through of what we did this week, which would be last week to the week that you're watching. Um, like I said, on Monday, I did actually get to do those two uh, workouts, which was good. I uh, didn't really spend much. I've been quite good at not spending. I uh, did a bunch of stuff. As you can imagine, it was a very busy Monday. Got my handbag that finally came in that I need to actually share with you guys. 
Tuesday we had my video go live. I only did actually one day of working out. My period also came a day early. It came on Monday, which I was not expecting. Um, but you know what? Mother Nature works how Mother Nature works. And we're just going to let her do her thing. Guys, I have found a new recipe that is going into my rotation bank of recipes. And it is like a cilantro lime rice bowl, which literally just has cilantro lime rice or coriander lime rice if you're English. I prefer cilantro. Um, with chicken in it. And it's kind of a bit like uh, the rice bowls from Tortilla. And I believe they might even have them in Chipotle in the US. I don't know if Chipotle does the same thing. We have Chipotle in the UK as well, actually. But Tortilla and Chipotle are kind of similar places. But Tortilla does have this bowl. It's like a naked burrito bowl, which is literally just rice, chicken, and then anything else you'd put into a burrito. But you guys know I'm basic as hell. And I'm fussy and I don't like veggies. And so my bowl literally consists of chicken and the rice. And it is incredible. It's so tasty. And so I made uh, some on Tuesday. But then I also had it on... Let's flip through these pages. Also had it on Wednesday as well. I had it for lunch and I also had it for dinner. Because I made leftovers. And then I like made it again. So that was a whole thing. It was delicious. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I got the recipe from the Tasty app. I think they have a website as well. They have like really easy videos that just like show you like step by steps of how to make the recipes. It's so, so good. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, on to Wednesday, did a workout. Didn't really do much else, honestly. Thursday, which was yesterday, I showed you guys. Really good calorie day. Just had loads of like little bits of to-dos to get done. So today, which is Friday, I will be going for a workout in a little bit. I have already done a home workout. I've got a couple more things to do. This final Dubai instalment actually just came out, so I can tick that off. Uh, I don't even think I add on here, had on here to film plan with me, but that can get written and ticked off straight away. We love that. So I just need to do... Oh, I need to oil my hair before I go to the gym, actually. And then the rest of the stuff will get done this evening i am going on a uh, nando's date with my boyfriend this evening but then we are actually going to i'm staying at his tonight actually so i'm just gonna put a little arrow down here in mk because um we were meant to have like a really fun date night next week to celebrate valentine's day but he's picked up some extra shifts which of course like i would never <laughs> i'm not gonna be mad at the fact he's trying to make extra money so love that so instead i'm gonna Go to Milton Keynes tonight. I'm going to spend the whole night with him. We're going to go have dinner. And then I will just leave around probably like four, three, four, um, to be able to get to my cousin's birthday dinner back in London. So I am actually no longer going to be going to Zumba at 11.30 a.m. because I'll be at my boyfriend's house. Uh, and I will be getting... Let me actually take this out because it's so hard to write being a little lefty. So I'm just going to put... I'll move this little circle sticker and pop it at four and just put train from mk so yeah that's what i'm going to do saturday and then sunday we've actually moved our um plans so now we are going to be celebrating our little valentine's a week early well two is it two weeks it's actually even two weeks early and um, we're going to a brunch in the Hard Rock Cafe Hotel or the Hard Rock, Hard Rock Hotel Cafe. We managed to get a really good deal on one of the like discount sites, like Groupon Woucher. It's called Buy a Gift. I don't know if it's just exclusive to the UK, but um, yeah, we managed to get a really, really good voucher. So we've got, I think, a three course brunch with uh, like unlimited drinks i think we're actually going to choose the option for unlimited cocktails instead although i did tell myself that i was not going to drink for the whole of january and february <laughs> yeah i can have one day off um but yeah we're going to do that which should be really nice uh like i said it's it's just difficult where valentine's day is like bang smack in the middle of i think it's like a tuesday or something which obviously makes things a little bit difficult where we don't live so close to each other so we're just going to celebrate it on sunday instead which will be nice and then next week and the week after like i said he'll be working so it gives me some downtime to sort of just get loads of homey things that I want to get done. I really want to work on like just clearing out some of the wardrobes in my room and just getting shit done really. But yeah, you guys, that was a very, very long video. I'm so sorry for how chatty this was, but uh, it's been nice to just catch up with you guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you have had an amazing week. Do let me know what you've got planned for this week. You guys know I'm nosy and I would love to know. 
if you did enjoy the video and you're not already subscribed please consider doing so and if you enjoyed the video definitely give it a thumbs up before you leave i will see you in the next one guys take care bye